I'm Kassan from Hey You Guys. Nice to meet you. And nice, lovely to meet you as well. Um, now, can I, can I ask, there's a number of themes in this film. I think homesickness is one that I've, I've, I felt very much when I was watching the film. Um, is that one of the themes that you picked up on when you're when you making it? Um, <coughs> yeah, but in reverse for me, which is that my character sees a girl that he cares about very much dealing with a terrible case of homesickness, and so he wants to build a home for her here. So I understood the theme in reverse because of uh, my pardon. Mm -hmm. I, I can ask about working with uh, Sesha, it must have been a great experience. Yeah, I mean, what it is is you can't take a moment off. You can't take a take off because there's someone there who's going to deliver every time and you got to deliver every time. So it raises the bar of what you're trying to do just from the word go. I mean. and, and in terms of the film, um, obviously you don't get to experience Ireland itself, but what, what, what was it like seeing those scenes uh, on the big screen? Oh, what's nice about that was that for those moments I could just take a step back and just watch a movie, you know, and I didn't have to, because normally when I watch, I watch to like, from a, from a critical eye to see how I can grow technically, so I could take a break and just watch a movie, you know, like it's much better than watching myself all, all over the place, you know. I, I thought you had a great character in the film, can, can you tell us a little bit about who you play in the movie? Yeah, well Tony's just a neighborhood guy from uh, Brooklyn, an Italian guy who meets Ailish Sears' character at a dance and falls in love and uh, that, that just ensues. What's up? How are you? Excellent. Uh, and, and also the director, John. Um, uh, what was it like working with him? Someone who obviously knows Ireland and, and yeah. brought that to the screen. Well, he also knows literature very well. He's got a big brain for literature and for understanding literary themes. Now, he obviously understood it as a director in a cinematic way. But, you know, for me, I know that from watching the movie. What it was for me was dealing with him directing me as I was realizing he knows how to implement that into actable moments for us to uh, play. You know. Did it feel like you were stepping into Brooklyn and New York of that era when you went on set? Because it looks fantastic. Sort of, yeah. I mean, we were in Montreal, so we weren't actually <laughs> even in New York. But there was this weird thing where you'd walk over to sit and all of a sudden there's like a car from 51 over there and there's this and then there's a Dodgers sign or something. So yeah, definitely. Excellent. And, and is, she has, um, Sersha's character has a tough choice between two really nice guys. Um, and it's quite rare to see a movie like that where both... Yeah, but she makes the right choice. Of course she does, yeah. We won't spoil who she chooses, but oh, she makes the right I'm choice. I'm just saying that. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> what are you, what are you, I keep getting looks from her about this. <laughs> it's it was right a answer. look. I saw a look. Uh, I'm, I'm already, my career's over, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you very much, buddy. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice.